how are we all doing? Welcome to this Enlightened Video Lead Tutorial. I have so many people ask me questions about audio and people struggle with audio. So I'm going to take you through some things that you can do with audio, how to move audio files or, or the audio in the timeline, how to split it, how to cut it, how to lengthen, how to shorten it, and um, hopefully it'll help some of you out. So here I've got a um, just a, a a beat leap video that I created from photos in my timeline. And what I'm going to do, I want to unlink the audio. So I select the video in the timeline. Along the bottom, what will happen is I will have this audio tab, select the audio, and then select unlink. So now this will create a new file, an audio file in my timeline. And you can see that at the top. Whenever I have the white frame around the audio file, that means I have that object in my timeline selected. So if I went to the film, um, you would see the audio file minimizes itself and the film or the, the video of that file is around the outside. But this video is all about audio, so let's go back to the audio. I'm gonna okay, so first, let's look at the split tool. If I wanna split this audio, all I'm gonna do is gonna go to where I want to split the audio, put my playhead or the red line in the timeline over that, and then the little split button just below it, select that, and now I've got two pieces um, of audio in my timeline, and it's just split. I've got this one here on the right-hand side selected. If I want to select the other one, I'll just press the little balloon or teardrop type shape, um, and then that would let me select it. If I want to lengthen and shorten the audio file, depending on which side I want to lengthen and shorten it from, obviously the audio file is selected because I've got the white frame. I'd use the little anchor points on the end, press and hold and slide in or slide out. Um, of Likewise, if I went to the other side, I wanted to lengthen or shorten this, I could lengthen or shorten it like this. Now that I've shortened it, let's say I want to move that audio file within my timeline to be, so it starts in a different place. Press and hold the audio file on my timeline, I'll have a little haptic tap or feedback from my mobile device and then I just slide it along the timeline like so and when it gets to the end of the timeline I also get a nice little haptic tap um, feedback to tell me that it's in line snapped in line with the start of the timeline let's say I wanted to fade the audio in I would select the little fade tool with my audio selected select fade in and then move the slider from left to right and now my audio will fade in it also demonstrates the effect that you've just applied. So if I went to fade out, select fade out, play up on my timeline, and it will automatically demonstrate the effect that I've just, um, I've just used. If I wanted to mute the audio, I'd just select the mute button. And if I wanted to adjust the um, volume on the audio, I'll go to volume and I'll select the volume. Whereas let's say I adjust the volume on my audio and I want it to go back to 100. Instead of sliding the cursor up and down to try and get it back to 100, I just go to the volume um, where it says volume on the left hand side, 262, and I press and hold and it will just default back to 100. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to keyframe volume. I was going to do a voiceover. Um, all I would simply do, go to the point that I wanted to start fading the audio out, press the little keyframe. I'll get a little diamond, scroll along a little bit, and then reduce the volume on the audio along. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to talk over this selection here. I press the keyframe again, so it's keyframed at 23, you notice. Scroll along a little bit and then return it back to 100 by pressing and holding the um, the volume button as I've just shown you. So now if I play through this and demonstrate the volume adjustments I've just made. So I should now be able to talk over this part and the volume returns back to normal. I want to remove these keyframes by the way, I just hover over one of them, select the minus on the diamond Wait till it becomes available, it colors itself in, select the minus on the diamond, and that's the way I remove the keyframes. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Um, have a good day, everybody. Take care.